evening folks it's Moz here from Moz 6510 models we're a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler <laughs> I hope you've all had a really good day it's been a bit of a wet one down here in the southwest so uh, if you can hear me just put in the chat that um, the the picture looks good that um, everything's all in good order that you can hear me I see we've got four in the chat tonight hello um, just looking through Steve Gibbons I'm here my mate nice to see you Steve welcome to the the live streams um, here on the uh, channel nothing too uh, desperate really <laughs> getting friends to watch but uh, yeah we've um, yeah it's been a bit of a day of it really um, I have been building the Nova kit let me just move this right this is what i'm going to be building tonight um trying to build this hotspur and i had a bit of uh a bit of a mare okay so i basically got it all nicely sprayed up and uh, i had the yellow i um done the camo it was looking pretty good and then i got a bit cocky with how i was doing the 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 the, the, the black stripes on the back and what what happened was is that i wanted to basically have the stripes going along like this and i noticed that if i used this width of masking tape i could just basically fit them on the wing so but unfortunately what i completely and utterly disregarded was this masking tape is shockingly shite okay i buy it um for a pound or even less than a pound a roll and what i done was is i put the um tape down i sealed it and i painted it straight off the tin mat 33 i have filmed all this and i will put out a video but um unfortunately what happened was that it left a crap job on the underside it looks terrible now this is better than it was because i don't know where you can see where i've actually touched in some of the places where i um where the black had just just exploded all over you know it, it doesn't look but then i thought about it thinking well in in the war in the war it wouldn't have been perfect anyway would it but um the quality of the finish was dire I've I've put the um, gloss coat on top ready for the decals and that isn't too good either um, it's kind of gone on a little bit gloopy um, unfortunately but I'm gonna get this one finished uh, hopefully tomorrow and then what I'll do is tomorrow night on the stream I'll hopefully have it ready so that we can put the decals on but at the moment it's still a bit wet um, I know it made another coat of gloss on top but yeah I've got to this stage with it I had enough of it today so I've done quite a lot the camo come out really good um, I'm quite happy with how the camo came up do not leave this putty if I've got it here do I leave it here on the side or if I, do I just put it somewhere else yeah that putty that I use do not leave it on overnight because it just flattens and it was a nightmare getting it off it was a little bit crap okay but I've used it before you can get a really good camel finish by the but I think um, yeah I left it on overnight because I put it on showed you how I put it on and basically it was it just it just went it just flattened out so it was a little bit wider and when I went to take it off it had dripped um, I don't think you can see, see this in the box you can see where the putty had dripped off into the box and unfortunately it did leave a bit of a residue so um, yeah this is the stuff and this is what dripped off the model plane overnight and it's still stuck in here <laughs> so yeah it's um definitely you know it's something you've got to do but what i should have done with the um with this on the on here what i should have used was the tamiya and then did the lines but as you can see it was perfect if i do that you can see the lines between so bridges so i just put the tape on then peeled off where i wanted to keep the yellow and where i wanted to paint the black but yeah, it just went all over the shop. It isn't a very good, um, a very good finish on that. 
but like with all of these things you learn every single time i am no expert i'm not a professional i am an amateur who loves model building i love seeing what people do i love the creations i love the weathering though i'm more of a person who likes to have it straight from the factory um but yeah i like the weathering i like i like all of that side of the model kit building you know everybody can do different things with models and some of it is amazing so yeah um so i'm not going to carry on with that tonight but um a couple of things is there's this one here which i'm hoping to start the build on tonight um it's something a little bit quirky isn't it hazigawa brought out what they call the egg plane series they were in the shops for 749 i think they're about 11 or 12 quid now because this kit is quite old i've had this in quite a while but yeah, um, and in other news, I'm really chuffed because uh, whether it fit on the camera, I can't quite see. This came today, the 1 to 35 M36 Battle of the Bulge, and I'm gonna have a look in the box. I might even do an unboxing on here, see how I, see how I get on. But I want to see whether this is actually uh, an academy kit inside. If we go through it together, we can probably have a look. The other one that came was this one, which is the um, Sherman tank. Have I got this on camera yet? Yeah. Which is the M4A3 Sherman. So I'm going to maybe do an unboxing on this one as well. Um, I don't know much about the kit, but um, like I said, it, it does. It is they're quite big boxes for what they are. There's quite a lot of kit in them. And also. I do have to do an unboxing of the 1 to 48 Hawker Sea Fury. Um, I am tempted to build this one sooner rather than later, but I've still got the Lightning to finish. The Lightning is still in in ready. I've got the you know that is the the uh, the, the one that I've got to really get on and start to finish this one. Hopefully in the next uh, three or four days when I've got a bit of time. So hopefully that will be also done as well. So quite a bit on the old workbench. Um, and yes, so hopefully we'll be able to um, get get going with some of them. Uh, finish them off. It's not good. I, I, I say it's not good, but um, you get bored, don't you? You know, models, you know, because you, you, spend, you spend most of your time just waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> so you then crack on with the next model. And like we're doing tonight, this one here, because of the... It, the the gloss coat that I use is Humbro. It does. It's an enamel based one. So you put on the acrylic and you put its enamel based uh, uh, gloss on it. Because you need to put gloss on the model for the decals to to set properly. Because if you don't, you end up with what's called fi um, uh, silvering, where the where it looks all grey in behind, and um, because you need a gloss mirror like finish to get it to set properly. And I might, hopefully, if I get this done tomorrow and it's all dried ready, we'll do the decals tomorrow night on that kit. So, that's how far we are. Um, I put in there Q&A. Any questions, any, any, any ideas or anything that you want to talk about tonight, please feel free to talk to me um, as we carry on building. I look at the chat. The chats are left to me. There's about a 20-second delay from when I speak to when um, I, you know, or we put question down. It comes through straight away. But um, um, it's about 20 seconds, so I will keep an eye on the chat and, we'll, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, any questions, answers, whatever, good, you know. Anyway, so this is Hazigawa's uh, Egg Plane series. They're quite quirky, um, you know, it, it's what, you know, I kind of what the, what you would call the, um, what's that cartoon sort of thing in, in China? Uh, anime is it anime they call it so it's, it's based on that um so the kit's quite old this one came from um amarang limited so it's probably been um shipped in we got seven pound 49 um i'm trying to see what the scale is but it doesn't say what a scale is on there just looking doesn't say a scale but if you want the kit it's a th4 um, CH4 series and it's 60104 from Hazigawa. Inside the box, as I say, as like most things, the box is bigger than what's ever ever going to be in the kit. So put that to one side. You get the instructions. 
you get a small packet of um, sprues and you also get quite a nice looking um, decal sheet and um, it's not fiddly at all they're quite good sizes so you're not going to end up with like tiny two millimeter um, types of uh, um, decals to go on but yeah they're looking all right a bit of fun there's a buzzing hornet there um, I'll see we'll have a look through in a minute and see how they go on instructions obviously with Hazigawa it'll probably be exploded view let's have a look inside um, yeah you've got exploded view there it doesn't look too bad so you've got fuselage lower fuselage upper um, canopy uh, vertical wing layer vertical wing right um, and yeah it looks or oh, these it looks like they're already attached so let's have a little play first we'll, um, we'll do the old foldy bit manga well done mr ravenscroft yes manga nice to see you this evening thanks for joining us a bit quiet tonight it's only five i think it's another somebody else must have got a live stream going um that should be quite good let's open it up let's see what we have here manga that's the word yeah crumbs um i don't know if you can hear the plastic it's quite tiny so it's quite a hard plastic if you know what I mean when I come by hard, it is quite a hard one. Um, I've got nothing here to, I can, yeah. It's Hazigawa anyway. A nice bit of detail in the actual upper. So actually, there's, there's no cockpit really. It's just put together and then I think you just spray it up. Uh, one coat spray. Does it say what colours it's got here? What colours you need? Um, painting instructions. Uh, number one. Number two and number eight. So you've got one, two, and eight. But I'm just trying to see what the colouring is. Um, so you've got one is H white, black, then a flat black. So, so basically you've got black, which is like a gloss, a flat black, which is, you know, um, like a matte black. Khaki green, burnt iron, smoke grey, tyre black. And then you've got a load of greys here. So depending on what you want to do with that. Let's to see what other colours here. Yeah, I, I, 308 or 308. Grey FS. Ooh. So using uh, Mr. Hobby, so I'll have to do a little bit of um, research in what the the version of Mr. Hobby or Mr. Colour. Um, GSI. Is it Gunsy they call it? Is it Gunsy? I can't remember now. So yeah, it's quite a, an easy build really. So... But it's just for a bit of fun. So let's start off. What we need is parts are. Let's look at 101, 301. So you can use uh, different greys. But we're not going to bother with the, that. I will colour it in later on. So let's snip the sprues off. What's the weather like in your area? Is it like down here? A bit stormy and stormy weather. So that one's done, that one's done, so and then we need the two here. Do, do, do. Let's just put this in and there we go. So there you are, so there's the main four pieces that you need to start off with now why is it ah oh, there it needs to be cut there as well oh I didn't see that little nipper there so there's one two three four pieces off with nothing else needed on that one let's have a little look and see there's a little bit of a clean up needed so we'll um, just gently just tender that off a little bit make sure that's nice and flat Sure that's flat there. Hope you can see this. There you go. That's all nice and flat. Little bit back. First one done. Is it right around the edges? That's a little bit of a nick there. So just 
Did he? Strike towards your chum, but not your thumb, but sometimes you can't do that. Let's look at this one. A bit of a clean up there. Actually, I'm going to use the snips on that because it is quite pronounced, that one. So getting tight. Make sure we're not touching anything else. Boom. Always cleaned up, all right? Bit on the top there. And then you've got two little bits there. So again, we'll just... Uh, Been crap weather today, mate. Got soaked earlier when delivering the food bank stuff. Fair enough, mate. My uh, deep respect there, mate, for doing that for the food bank. Um, we had a delivery of plants today, believe it or not. Um, we're just trying to keep businesses going. Um, my my wife um, ordered some plants from the local um, seller here, and she delivered them at the door, which is good. But just to, you know, just to keep trade going, really, I think. A little bit of sandpaper on that. Whoops. A little bit of a, a bit of clean. Hang on, just get this out of the, so I can see clearly now. And there we go there, straight across. If you're watching, just say hi on the chat. Uh, we've got six watches tonight. Normally you have about seven or eight. So one, two, three, four. Let's have a look around here and just see if we've got any little. There's a little bit of a nook there. Just give that a bit of a rub down. So I thought I think Flory models do a live chat on a Thursday, don't they? What I need is is, is um, somebody to join me on the chat and do model kits as well as me, and just talk away like do a live stream, have a bit of a laugh. Um, but I say, you know, it's been quite lonely for a lot of people, you know, and, and model kit seems to have um, helped people staying at home. They've got something to do. Um, a lot of model kits has, have, have, have left my shop anyway last couple of days, doing quite well on them. Just go around the edges here, make sure it's all nice and... Here we go. Just a little clean up because obviously... We're going to be spraying this. Look at that. Perfect. Just make sure there's no flash in the hole. Or to be fair, this is actually... I'm quite impressed with this kit, actually. It's quite clean. It's very, very, you know... Don't tell me it just fits in like that. Oh, dear. Look at that. <laughs> Am I building a quick build here, or am I building one of those Revel uh, quick click stuff, easy click systems? <laughs> that just went in absolutely lovely, didn't it? No, we have a gap there, which we will sort out with a bit of bit of. Oh, and hang on, say that again. It's just clicked right in position. Just want to make sure if it's a one, two, three, four. That is absolutely stonking. That is. I'll just pull him out a minute. If I get him apart again. Oh, I can't get him out now. Oh, well. Get the old Tamiya thin in the gap then. So we start from... Where's it? There it is. So we start here and move along. Capillary reaction, of course. To get the glue in the gap. How are you finding life, Steve? Not doing the discos and not being the um, music guy for Exeter City Football Club. Apparently, they're going to. Um, there's a lot of talk, apparently, from the captains. So I've read on uh, Facebook that uh, they will. Um, They're looking at closing the season now when whatever points you are on halfway through the season, you played your 27 games, whatever points they are, that's what you take away. Interesting thought that. Quick, isn't it? I'm not sure that's level there. Make sure. So just uh, in that gap there. 
hoping this will, by the time I get around, it will have all set. This um, coronavirus has really, really hit home at how, you know, how, um, let me get squeezed again, that's it, how fragile life is, isn't it? But, you know, I've had, you know, I've uh, got a load of uh, cat food together for me, me old man, like, you know, because he's, uh, he's in his 70s now and he uh, is staying at home, keeping safe. And uh, he, unfortunately, um, you know, the, the, the food that the cat likes, he, don't, he can't get down there. So uh, I've got it and I might just go and, uh, just go and um, get his food in all bits and pieces there with the cat food. Send it down by, um, by parcel. Um, very quiet, mate. So Steve, not very quiet. It's very quiet, mate. I don't think we'll see anything disco-wise until October earliest, yeah. I tell you what, though, that first day when they open up the pubs, crumbs, there'll be street parties and everything, won't there? That's glued together quite well, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Um, it's quite fixed there. I'm going to use this crappy tape. Do not use crappy um What's it called? Um, masking tape. It'll bite you on the ass. It bit me on the ass today. I was devastated. I put, as I say, I've done a video on it. When I pulled off the uh, thing, my, my heart just sank because it had just bled underneath. And what I should have done, obviously, was use the. Uh, what is the matter with this tape? Look at that. It's my fault for buying one pound tape, isn't it? Actually, I'm going to leave that there. I think it'll be alright, actually. I think it's gluing in nice. There and there. They fit on there, nice and dumb. When I used to build models, I used to use a tub of air tube of airfix glue, that's right. Um, in one of the kits, I found uh, an old an old um, tub of that. It's actually Humbro glue, not Airfix glue. I think you find it's Humbro glue. That and that, that's it. Nice. Just do a bit around the gap here. Perfect. There we go. That's the first one. We'll leave that one to set a minute. You know, folk, because I should have seen that. I didn't realise those are the pins I cut off. <laughs> I've done that before, you know. The way it looks on the sprue, the way it looks, it just looks like the lug. And I've just cut straight, I've just cut the pin straight off. I just didn't see that. It just totally bushwhacked me, that one did. Silly sausage. So, but, you know, I would have thought that we had like a big, long, flat piece there. Not just two little lugs like that. But anyway... <clears throat> Live and learn. It's glued in, alright, isn't it? Can't go anywhere. It was really stringy. Yeah, it was back in the day. See, you gotta remember this isn't glue. If it's just have a bit of a chemical lesson here, this is a hot weld. So the idea is that the chemical two the two sides of the chemical reacts. And what happens is it welds or melts the plastic into each other. A bit flatter there. Yep. That's how it works. It's a hot melt glue. So it melts the plastic. Make sure it's straight. Pretty well straight, isn't it? 
You just go around capillary action around there. The humble liquid poly is quite good. It's sort of like Tamiya glue, but a bit thicker. Yeah, it is. Well, it was, I should say. I need to find out where that tick is coming from. I haven't got a ticking clock. But something's ticking in this room. So there we go. There's the uh, the wings on. So just a bit of fun this one really. I'm not expecting major, major things. It's all a bit of fun. Yeah, history and scale. Welcome along to the live stream. Thanks very much for joining. If any of you guys are in any groups or anything, you know, and you could just share the live stream to those groups please feel free to um you know and uh we can have a chat and watch somebody try and build a model yeah so let's have a look at what the uh so there's the thing, there's the pilot there. So glue him together. And I just want to make sure I'm not, so you've got, there's a little nub there, so I want to cut below there this time, so I'm not embarrassing myself. Um, do you see what I mean though? There's like, there is a lug underneath, but it, it doesn't look like a lug. So until you actually see the little, the little lugs there. See, I, I would have thought they would have been a flat thing, because, you know, but it's not. Anyway, my own fault. Um, but it doesn't matter because it still glues. So that one's done. Just cutting around the back here nice and tight on the sprue. There you are. And somebody was on the chat last night said that Telford was cancelled, that there was a big announcement. Um, I've been on the website. I've not seen an announcement for Telford um, being cancelled this year. So what I'm because all they've said is is that they're going to keep it under review because not till November anyway because it could be the only one we're able to go to this year if you know because all the others have been cancelled if you know what I mean so it could be the only one that that we can go to that's fit lovely isn't it look at that it's like a baby Darth Vader. I'll bring it up to the camera close. Can you see that? that baby Darth Vader. It's just a very tiny bit of glue down there. Around the helmet. And then what did I clean that up in a minute? And I'll put him on here and we'll leave him. Will he stand up? Yeah, he'll stand up. So there, so that's where we're up to now. We've got the the canop canopy to go on, but I need to paint that one first. So we'll we'll get everything together. That's pretty funky. Nice little canopy that. Turn them around on the other side. So you've got the engine assembly front and back we'll just leave that to dry for now so what I found in me in in um, is a blast from the past put him there in that one and then we'll move him over there to dry for a minute put that one in the box Cool, cool. So, what was I going to show you? Yeah, look at this for a little catalogue. Airfix model. I'm trying to find the, there's no year on it, but look at all these. Look, look at look at the, the labels on here. This has got to, this has got to be 1970, surely. It doesn't actually show them, it just shows you the box art. The Westland Scout. I was just wondering, is any, if, you, if I go through this in the chat, just tell me any that you've built and you'd like to see re-released. There's some nice ones here. You've got the Westland Scout, the Northrop F5A. That's been released, hasn't it? 
Look at that bird dog there. That'd be a bit fun to um to um to build. Mr. Smith, he has done loads of them. Hurricane, oh yeah. Spitfire five B. Well, they're bringing out the no the five C. They're bringing out, aren't they? This year, sometime. Um, Mirage, yeah. Hella do a good Mirage, if I remember rightly. I think Hella do a good Mirage. The GR five, the Tornado, GR one, the Phantom, the Fighting Falcon, the Mig twenty nine, the Boeing Clipper. I don't remember seeing that one. Um, MGB. I like that. So I like that Boeing seven four seven with the um, vintage um, decals there of British Airways. That's pretty smart. There you go. The Jaguar E type, which is we've all built that as a starter set. I'm pretty sure we have. HMS Repulse and Vic HMS Victorious Corps. I was only saying the other them to someone the other day. Um, I've got this, uh, this these kits here from Revel, and I have um, sorry the box is really crap, but um, I have never built a clipper ship or anything like that. Never have done. I'm trying to find out how many parts is in here in this one box. Two hundred and sixty nine pieces in here. I just imagine doing and just imagine doing all that rigging, but I think the rigging comes as standard anyway, as a as a part anyway. So but yeah. Um so yeah, bus type, um then you've got your figures as well, your guardsmen, German infantry, your dragoon, Royal Scots, Greys, you know, there's all sorts of British British Army, World War Two infantry, RAF refueling set, you know. Yeah, so some of this stuff you find, look at this, all about Humbro here, on the back. And i got to say, their model spray paint is pretty cool. I do like Humbro spray paint, if it was all that easy. I mean, how are we getting on with this? Is this, look at this, is glue jet? That's pretty solid, that. So what colour, what are they painting the engine then? What's the engine colour going to be? 61 what's 61 burnt iron yeah we can put that on later what i'll do is i'll put it all together and then what we'll do is is we'll um yeah we'll put it all together apart from the pilot and the canopy um and the um and the landing wheels I'll spray this all up with a primer. It's going to need a primer. It's quite a, it's quite a, a shiny, shiny model. This one. A bit of a clean up there. Just a little tiny bit of a clean up. So hopefully you won't see any of that. And then we'll put the um, the uh, jets on the back. Am I going crazy here? Oh, I can't find my clippers. What have I done with them? everything here I'm sitting at a desk where have I put my clippers to my little screw cutters where I put them to anyway it's just screw cutters here so let's just uh, uncut this one uncut that one just make sure I don't one two and then the two front halves comes I 
Right, just give you a bit of a clean up. Oh, it's, um, it's a little something for you, gentlemen um, and ladies, if you're watching. Tamiya panel line. Do you remember that stuff? Have I got some here? Is it in my... So, here you go. This, this stuff here. Um, I was talking to a guy today who... Um, who sells Tamiya and for years I mean I've I get this from eBay um, and it gets shipped in from China or Japan wherever it comes from you know you're paying like it's only about four or five pound a bottle but it's costing you a few quid in postage to get it over here and apparently it's carcinogenic Um, may cause plastic to become brittle do not apply to parts that must be pressed in be careful when using it as it may dissolve underlying paint store lightly capped and that's all it says on there there's precautions do not ingest avoid contact with eyes and skin do not breathe vapour using well ventilated areas obviously do not use near open flame heat spark soy heat spark or heat source um keep out of reach for children and at the beer it says here and i've never seen this before this product can expose you to chemicals including etho e etho l -th benzene which is known in the state of california to cause cancer or birth defects or other reproductive harm for information go to p 65 warnings.ca.gov and i've never read that on this bottle before but that is because of that you're not allowed to really sell it in this country because you, the, the health and safety on this would need to be you know you you can't fit all the information on the bottle the only way you'll do it is if you have a label that you can pull out and read it but tammy won't do that you know you can buy it in the states even though it's um even though it's uh um, cancerous or can cause cancer allegedly um, but yeah it's uh, it's not very good for you anyway so that just sticks on the back now we just push that in this is quite a nice little kit it all fits it's almost like Bandai this one some glue Trump would probably say it's a cure for coronavirus yeah Still it bang and the and the coronavirus is gone. <laughs> but yeah, I never knew that. So all the years I was trying to get hold of it and struggling and I thought there must be a way of getting this stuff and selling it, you know, or whatever. And no it's uh, nobody wants to sell it. You have to buy it via another another means, which is you know, one of those things that's wonderful about the internet is that the whole world is a shop isn't it on the internet oh whoops the whole world is a shop so there you go cancerous i never knew that and that's why all the main dealers of tamiya in this country can't um or we can't sell it because it's it you know it's it's so apparently it's quite dangerous so that gives me food for thought. So now when I do use it, obviously I'll be wearing gloves when I next use it. Or I'm actually going to go, th this, um, let's get a bit serious here. I'm actually thinking of going old school. And uh, I've just, um, I'll go here. I think it's time to go back to, have I got that in the camera? <clears throat> This is quite cool. This is, this is a little spindle from Tamiya, obviously. Spin that out of the way so it's dry and nice. Stay there. Um, 
<clears throat> I think it's time we go back to things like this. The the black um um the black humbra wash. <clears throat> Start using this a bit more. Obviously, you coat your model with some sort of um, gloss coat, and then you and you gently put this in the lines. Uh, I've got I've got the black wash here. I've got two actually, and that's the rust one, which is, you know give it a really good shake. <clears throat> that's the rust one that I've got underneath. I've got the weathering powders. Um, I've got I've got all of them. I think I've got, I've got that's the sand in it, sand color. I think I've got the white weathering powder, and I've got darker weathering powder. That's it. If you want to see how they how they work, go onto the Humbro website and um, Humbro YouTube channel and see them. But I'm thinking to myself, just for my own health and safety, whether to dump the panel line and to go for that. We'll see. We shall see. But yes, yeah, carcinogenic. Never knew that until today. What time is it anyway? Is it coming on? Oh, look at that. We've been on there uh, 40 minutes. So you've got like 18 minutes left to go. No problems. And they go fast when you're having fun. So we'll just clip that one there. And we'll clip that there. Because I don't know whether it's got... Yeah, it's got a little tag there. Okay, so there is a tab on this one, so we're gonna. So we've been burnt once, so we'll cut by the tab. Then on the top here, you can just go straight in on top. So make sure that's right, actually. Yeah, we've been bitten by that, buggers. Slight cleanup needed. Just a tiny bit there. That's it, cleaned up on this side. Whoops, wrong side, there you go. Got good clean up at the back. Got two little pins there, got a pin on the back. Clean that off there. Perfect, so underneath they go. So I presume this one here goes this side. Hang on. Oh, I see. Does it go in like that? Does it? No. that way is it so what's <clears throat> it's got to be that way isn't it so has that got to go inside is it that's weird isn't it oh I see it does it hang down does it <coughs> Try cough. <clears throat> so in theory, I need to just clean it up a tiny bit. Make sure it's flat. It's not quite flat there. Sixteenth of a foul. Is. I presume that's right. There's a bit of a gap there. It goes around. Let's just make sure that one's cleaned up as well. Whoops. Right, he's in. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. That. I'm very happy with that. What we'll do now is just give it a good, good going over with, but good going over, good going over with the um, with some primer, 
and then we what I'll do is I'll just uh, do the let's have a look how these fit so that goes in there that goes backwards does it oh yeah there you go and there's the like so the last two bits I'll do tomorrow we'll get these all sprayed up and everything else cool excellent I'm quite happy with that that's not looking too bad to be honest a little bit of fun isn't it a little bit of fun so I'll put that down there in that box uh, there's there's just trying to work out how to do these you know cut them around I have got a little tool which um, which you can use to cut but I don't think it's essential as it as it looks I'll have to um, have to see how to cut them out. Cool, cool. Right, so it's coming on, it's drying a little bit more now. There you are, there's that one. Put that down there. Cutters. Put in at the back here. Excellent. Cool, right, so that's that bit done. Shall we, um, let's have a look, what have we got here? Let's just move this out the way, I think. Oh, there you go, up there, out the way. It's perfect. Stay. Yeah, it's going to slip, is it? Right. Clear your way. Quick look inside the box and see what's in there. I'd like to know whether this is going to be a uh, um, academy kit inside here. Let's put them up. Let's have, oh, top opening box. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and a piece of photo etch and rubber track. We all like rubber track. And what I want to do is have a look and see whether there is any maker's marks on here. Made in Korea. M68 M60 M36 Jackson I'm just looking to see whether this is a rebox for um if it's a, an academy kit made in Korea and I think Korea is see that says M10 GMC on that one there Look in here, and he make his marks in there. This is made in Korea. But the level of detail is quite astonishing. Sherman in that one as well, so you basically, I suppose you get two kits then. Do you? Or is it just one kit? Interesting. Let's have a look at the instructions. But yeah, there's, there's um, let me just go back here. Check to see there's nothing on there.
stuff in one of these bags, shall we, and have a little nosy, see what we get inside. Tell you, it will take me a while to make. How much was that tank? It was. There's my receipt here for it. No, it's not. I think it was twenty pounds. The only way to find out is to go on. Do that. Right, let's have a quick look. And then FX go. So get into the FX website, let's have a little look and see what it says on the FX website. I think it was twenty or quid. I bought two to get it over that fifty pound mark so you get free shipping. Now they charge you um fiver for shipping, which is just outrageous really. Because I can send any parcel that's under two kilo, um, 45 by 35 by 16 centimeters for two pound 95 track so well either somebody has seen this kit and now they're on the airfix website looking at it but i can't get the airfix website to come up um go into my mail then Nope. What's going on here? I'm trying to find it, but I can't see it. But I think they're about 20, 20 or quid. But the FX site's not not working uh, again, which is a nightmare. FX, A R F X, the home of modeling. Nope. No FX. It's not. I can't remember, mate. I really can't. It's it's on my. Yeah website won't come up and let me just go across here because I think it's under this one actually um, Oh, it's annoying me now. I can't find how much I paid for it. I don't know how much I paid for it. I can't get onto the website for some reason. For 20 odd quid, it looks not bad value with all the work involved. Yes, I agree. Um, no, it's still not. Yes, yeah, that's the order number. Right, so yeah, they were both £27.99, so the Battle of the Bulge was £27.99, and this one here, the Sherman, was also £27.99. But I just want to have a look inside, because I want to see, yeah, there's, you know, I don't think, it's mainly Korea, and I think Academy, most of their stuff is made in Korea, so I think it's an Academy we box but let's go have a little look the detail is actually very very good it's 135 scale remember so but the detail does it ah made in korea 2003 so it may be new to i am i am i reading that right i thought it was a I thought, yeah, I thought it was brand new. I'm going to look in the catalogue, actually. Let's have a look in the catalogue. Right. Do, 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 do. Right. Um, I was looking at... Mr. Cromwell. There. That one there, you see? That's the one I got, wasn't it? Oh, that's the one I got. I'll be might might be missed if it's not. Yeah, M four A three, M four A three seventy six W, Battle of the Bulge, which is that one, that one there. Available twenty twelve, and the other one I got is that one there, isn't it? Um, what was the box to? There it is. Uh, 
M36, M36 2B. That one there, available now. So that one there. But that would that see they've just brought out that picture there. I thought they would have had um so I don't think this is actually um an airfix one. But what I'm looking at is this one the back of the bulge, which is available now. So that one there, I think I think that one is actually maybe maybe just me, maybe I'm just seeing into the wrong thing here. Look at the wrong one. I think it was the Battle of the Bulge, the Sherman one I was looking at, which I thought was a, a rebox. Let's have a look, shall we? Pull that back in. And the question is, do I build it or do I not? Nice bit of photo wedge there as well. So there's that one. So, confusing myself here. So that one there, frozen picture. Is it working again now? Let me know if it's working again. Frozen picture. I'll be back on. I'm showing green. Battle of the Bulge one, yeah. Ah. Cool, let's get this open. Right, let's just have a look to see what it says on here. Sherman. Let's have a look and see what it says. Yeah, 135th Sherman. No maker's marks on here. There's um, H on the back, no date on him either. So that's, uh, that's a V. So you've got two of them, one for each side. So I don't know whether this is, um, if this is the Academy kit then that I was waiting for. Is it still frozen? Can you just talk to me, or is it working? I've got I've got it working here. Is it frozen? So you've got a bit of photo etch there, and it's got the Airfix emblem in there as well. But I just want to see whether this kit was uh, the same as an Academy one. Hopefully we're still live, or we've not lost signal. I can see it on my um, on my laptop here. It's working now. Brilliant. I'm glad it's working. Right. Four people still watching. Wow. But yeah, I just wanted to see whether it was an actual um, if it's just a rebox of an academy kit. There's it. The thing that makes it suspicious is the fact that what's that the if you look on. Let me just open this one up so we can see properly. Um, there's a knife there. Let me just uh, open this up. So the maker's mark is a pl it's a blank plate. So if we pull this one out, then turn it over. This side here would normally have the the manufacturer on it, and it's been left blank. Um, but the detail again is, as I said, for one thirty five is fantastic. Um, I'm just not a fan of building tanks, but I may have a crack at this one. For fits and giggles, isn't it? For fits and giggles. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually got the numbers on on the on the um on the segments there I say I built tanks I built boat um I built tanks but not this size I've done 176 scale tanks I've done um you know um them sort of size I say this one here but it's like doing all these little wheels it's just an absolute nightmare that's the Churchill crocodile but yeah, I think it's going to be it's a nice looking kit. We shall uh, 
I'll do a proper unboxing. And we'll, and I, I might even put this one together. I'm tempted now. Now I've looked at it and seen all the detail and everything. I th I'm actually quite tempted. But there is no maker's mark on here. Which then is quite, you know, to me it says a lot. Well, there's a problem with, you know, we've been reboxing kits for years. We've been buying rebox kits for years. But, um, yeah. There you go, nice instructions here as well. Really nice instructions. There you are. Looking good. Parts location diagram. Yeah. This it looks like a lot of bits. Like look at this. Look at that here. There's a lot of parts there. Just see. For a gun, isn't it? Incredible. I do like that they do this. Put all this together. You know, have to have the sprues out. See, look at unused parts. Look at all these unused parts here. A1, A2, A3, A4, A6, A8. There's a lot of unused parts in this kit. You know. Unused parts, you don't use 30, 40, yeah, loads of it there. So, you, you know, you basically got to pick out what you choose and away you go. And there's your, your colour scheme. Cool. Let's have a quick look. Yep, so there you go. That's the tank for you. I'll, pop, I'll do a proper unboxing of the tanks. For the videos um anyway so there you are interesting right so there you are i think i've done my hour now yeah it's quarter past it's been fun hope you've all enjoyed it um if you could please like the video if you liked it if you have any comment put them in the comment box below and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe thank you very much for watching this evening and i'll see you in the next whoops i'm gonna drop the box in and I'll see you um, in the next live chat, which will probably be tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Cheers.